Would you like to become a freelancer in 2023? Then this episode is for you. Hey everyone, it's me, Coach Z, and in this channel, I share upper tips, virtual assistant tutorials, and everything freelancing. So if you're excited to dig in, go smash that like button and hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. If you want to become a freelancer in 2023, then you should stick around as I will be sharing with you the things you need to set up so you will be a successful freelancer this coming new year. So let's get started first set of things that you need to set up is number one identifying your skills your primary and secondary skills but if you are at the stage wherein you're not sure if your current skills are profitable then i encourage you to enroll in a course to master a skill so that you become more confident when you offer your services the second thing that you need to set up of course is your pricing your pricing for your service or set of services. The third one that you need to know or to set up is your ideal client profile. You need to be clear about who you want to serve. This is so important and I mentioned this many times in this channel and I couldn't emphasize it even more. So those are the first three things that you need to set up, okay? Again, your skills, your pricing, and your ideal client profile. The next set of things that you need to set up is for your client journey. This is the journey that a client goes through the moment that they find you up to hiring you and onboarding them. So these are the things you need to set up. First things first is your payment processor. You need to identify what payment processor you will be using to invoice your clients and accept payments from them. It could be PayPal, it could be TransferWise, or any other payment processor that you know. So that's number one. The second thing is you need to have your invoices and contract handy. So make sure that it's already ready. The templates are ready wherein you can just change up the name of the client and other details when you onboard them but the important thing is you already have them in place all right the third one is your communication tool you need to identify what communication tool you will be using to of course communicate with your clients it could be whatsapp it could be viber it could be slack it could be through messenger it could be through emails whatever that messenger app or tool that is you need to have at least one the fourth thing is project management tool. So this is so important in making any project successful. So you need to identify what project management tool you will be using when working with clients. So it could be Asana, it could be Airtable, it could be Trello or whatever project management tool you know that is out there. You need to explore and you need to figure out which one works for you best. Now I have a video wherein I walk you through using Asana project management tool and you can watch that video here. All right, before we move on to the next few things that you need to set up, please let me know if you're getting value from this episode and if you do, please drop the word gold in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it and YouTube will really love it. All right, the next one that you also need to set up is your welcome packet. You need to prepare your welcome packet because this is the thing that you will be sending to your clients once you onboard them. Now, welcome packet includes, you know, your message and telling them how much you appreciate working with them or hiring you and that you also share your business hours, your business policy, and everything you want your client to know about working with you. All right. The next thing is you also have to map out your onboarding process and your offboarding process. Now, this is so important in your client journey, the onboarding process, like what comes first, what comes next, what comes at the end, and all those stuff. So what comes first? Do they need to pay the invoice first or do, do they need to sign the contract first? Or or should you send the welcome packet and the contract together? So those are the things you need to map out. You need to really know 
your onboarding process. You really need to have a system in place so you can provide a seamless experience for all your future clients. Cool? Now you also have to map out your offboarding process. You may know by now that freelance projects could be short-term or long-term. But regardless, you need to have an offboarding process wherein you are clear about how to turn over you know, turn over projects to your clients and anything else that they need, they need before they let you go. All right. Now, those are the second set of things that you need to prepare or you need to set up if you want to become a freelancer in 2023. Now, the next set or the next thing that you need to set up is of course your marketing strategy you need to have a proven or effective marketing strategy that you will implement to get clients to find and get clients this is so important in any freelance business or in any business at all you need to have a clear marketing strategy for your freelance business to grow now um, marketing strategy could mean you know do you want to get clients mainly from freelance platforms or do you want to get clients from social platforms such as Instagram Facebook or LinkedIn and if you do if you want to go with Instagram then you should have a clear marketing strategy how to find clients and get clients on that platform so that's what I mean by marketing strategy now I also I always believe that you need to focus in one marketing strategy to know if it truly works for you. Because if you're all over the place, then that's going to be a problem, right? If you're on LinkedIn, if you're on Instagram, if you're on freelance platforms and you're like, you know, whoever wants to work with me, then I'll go with them. No, but having a clear marketing strategy for a specific platform will really help you grow your freelance business so i hope that makes sense all right so those are the things that you need to set up if you want to become a freelancer in 2023 because the first set of things like you know the foundations the skills the pricing the ideal client profile if you have set those all up but if you don't have a marketing strategy then it's going to be useless right or if you have a client journey but you're not sure who you want to serve or what skills or services you will be providing or offering your future clients then it's not going to work as well so that's why it's so important that you set your foundations you have a clear client journey and you have a solid marketing strategy those three factors are so important to help you become a successful freelancer in 2023 so if i were you plan out everything that i have shared with you today this month or maybe earlier next year so that you will have a solid freelance business all right so i hope you found value from this episode and i hope you will be starting your freelance business in 2023 so let me just give you a recap first things first is you need to set your foundations the skills the pricing and your ideal client profile and then you also have to set up your client journey from the payment processor invoices and contracts communication and project management tools up to your onboarding and offboarding process and of course the most important thing that you need to set up is your marketing strategy so let me know if you have questions and I'll see you on my next episode, but before that, let me greet you all a happy, happy holiday season, and I hope you enjoy the rest of December, and I will try my best to create another video before the year ends. So, all right, see you again soon. Bye! Business hours, your business policy, your business policies, and everything you need your client and everything you need to sign the contract first or the does the contract or do the contract and the welcome packet comes to get only know by now that freelancing is that you may now because you know a clear client journey or a client journey or a client pro if you don't have going to be 